The National Gallery of Victoria uses Cumulus to manage their digital image archive. This is a database of almost 100,000 records. The catalogue covers a wide range of media including paintings, sculpture, prints, drawings, photographs, textiles, furniture and the decorative arts. This example shows just a small section of their collection. Most collection items have more than one image associated with it. The gallery uses the accession number as their main reference number. Let's do a search on accession number D88-169. They use their own primary image field to flag which image will be published to the web and publicly viewable. They have set up a record view set to show the primary image field, along with the thumbnail. From this view we see that the first line shows yes or no for the primary image, immediately telling us which image is published to the web. In this case the front of the vase is the primary image. Other images are taken for the conservation team, showing different views or details of the object or painting. National Gallery of Victoria uses categories to classify their Cumulus catalogue. This makes it easy to find all objects in a category and subcategory. For example, finding all international decorative art objects is just a few clicks away. National Gallery of Victoria integrates Cumulus with Vernon, their collection management system. Fields are exported from Vernon and then imported into the Cumulus catalogue. The museum staff can look and copy these fields, however they are greyed out, signifying that they can't be edited. The museum also uses a field to flag how an image has been retouched. For this example, let's find the Banquet of Cleopatra. We've saved this as a quick find for easy access. Now, let's look at the four images of the entire painting in full screen preview. The image on the top looks like the painting before it was treated. Let's see what the fields display. In full screen preview, move the mouse to the left hand edge of the screen to display an information panel. The notes at the top say, before treatment. The special note down the bottom shows that it's a conservation reference image. The image below it is the publicly displayed primary image with notes about the colour correction and other operations performed on the image before putting it on public display. National Gallery of Victoria uses Cumulus to create a highly customised environment specific to their needs. The gallery can manage copyright data, manage publications and associated material including derivative files, plus manage user access based on the user's needs. For example, most users have access to the publication ready images, while the conservation department has access to all the images. In this example, the Cumulus client can see all 204 records, while the web view is only showing 83 of the 204 records, or only showing images with the primary image flag set to yes. These examples show how Cumulus can meet the needs of educational and arts organisations who need to manage large image collections. Monash University publishes a public photographic library to the web. They use Cumulus to run parts of the system. It can be found at imagelibrary.monash.edu.au. The website uses one of Canto's web interfaces with customisation to suit Monash University. Much of the static content, such as the help page, draws from general resources on the Monash University. This means it's easier for Monash staff to change the look and feel to suit their needs. The welcome screen and subsequent screens are a combination of Cumulus and existing Monash web files. The web interface has been simplified to make it easy for anyone to use. The categories down the left are set up based on the structure of Monash University showing campuses, faculties and categories within each faculty. Clicking on the campus shows a page full of images from the campus. Clicking on a thumbnail 
brings up a preview of that image. Images can be added to a collection basket either from the preview or thumbnail views. Cumulus also handles image searches. Searching for the word medical brings up all images tagged with the word medical. Monash University records the usage of each image, useful to check where the image might have appeared. When ordering images from the collection basket, file size and usage for each image can be specified. The drop-down menu displays the list of asset actions that have been configured in Cumulus and made available on the website. See the training course section on Asset Actions to see how the Cumulus user can easily create and configure these useful macros. Behind the scenes, an asset action is used to automatically add a watermark, convert the file to a different file format and transfer the modified file to an FTP location. A similar example is covered off in the Asset Actions section. When ordering, a digital request form is sent to Monash for processing and completion of the order. This request uses a Cumulus add-on called Email Order System Pro 